Bryan with Mary Carrillo, and once again, we are live from the stadium court, the National Tennis Center, and here's how it stands. The highly anticipated quarterfinal match, Courier and Agassi, two sets to one, Jim Courier, two all in the fourth set. Agassi serving at 15 love. Dirty Love Agassi. It has been a battle right from the beginning. A solid set played in the first by Jim Courier. Cooley in command. A raucous second set that saw a dispute between Andre Agassi and the uh, chair umpire Dando Locanto result in a code violation for throwing a racket. Thirty fifteen. And a brilliantly played tie break from behind by Andre Agassi that evened the match at a set apiece. Courier won the third set and we're in the fourth, 30-15. Surprises for you in the course of the match so far. Well, Courier really, he was on top of this of the set, the first set early. He had three set points at 6-3 in that second set tiebreak, and for some reason he backed off. He got real tentative. And Agassi won the last five points of that tiebreak. Otherwise, it's really pretty much been all this man in the match, with Agassi really having to fight from behind. Courier's game is so solid from the baseline. Of course, Agassi's got a very solid baseline in game two, but Courier should be able to control the rallies. And he should be able to do it without having to overhit, as he just did that one. Agassi has been trying to come to the net a lot in this match. In fact, he won the tiebreak in the second set from the net. Agassi takes a 3-2 lead here on the fourth set. Down the set to Jim Courier. We are live on the stadium court at the USTA National Tennis Center. Courier and Agassi in the fourth set. Andre Agassi has just held to go up 3-2. He trails by a set to the top seed, Jim Courier. We'll stay with this match until its conclusion. You can see Courier has won the last four times they've met, including, of course, the big one at the French. Very dismissive match that one was, Courier beating Agassi. I, in fact, was surprised that just a few weeks later, Agassi was able to pull himself together and win the Wimbledon title. A great effort from him, and one that I would never have guessed after watching him lose so badly to Jim on clay. Love 15. Courier coming into this tournament after a patchy sh summer, but impressive in his matches here, despite dropping a set in each of the first two rounds. But he was flawless against John McEnroe in winning in straight sets. Other action today, Pete Sampras advanced over Alexander Volkov. And on the women's side, Sanchez Vicario into the semifinals, where she'll meet Manuela Maleva Franier, who defeated her younger sister Magdalena when Magdalena had to retire with a hamstring pull. Down 5-3 in the second set. Love 30, Courier. This winner will advance to meet Pete Sampras in the semifinal.
Well, the Power Boys with a bit of with a bit of finesse, Mary, on that exchange. Beautiful stuff. 15, 30. Agassi tried to break up the point with this, but you see how high that drop shot was. It gave Courier enough time to have plenty of control. He was well set at the net, and that's why he ended up having the last word in this exchange. Fifteen thirty. from Courier. Well, Jim's serve is bigger than Andre Agassi's, and he's been able to pick up a lot more cheap points than his opponent. Even when he doesn't volley off of his serve, he's getting a lead in the rallies on his own serve because it's been such a heavy, on first and second, he's been very effective. Thirty on. Service ace from Courier. 40, 40, 30. Agassi up 3-2 here in the fourth. Courier leads two sets to one. Winner advances to meet Pete Sampras in the semifinals. Three outstanding young American players in a log jam on this side of the draw. Michael Chang and new American citizen Yvonne Lendl still active in the other half. running around on that forehand and finding a space. Yes. Just a tremendous, uh, I mean, to be able to hit a winner like that from beyond the baseline, look where he was. Just a great reaction off of a pretty good serve. Now a deuce. Agassi claims it's his eyes that make his return so effective. He, he just feels he sees the ball so much, so much better than most people. Another ace. That's his 18th. We may have been waving up there to his tennis colleagues, McEnroe and Garolitis, up in the television booth as he did earlier when he made a little half volley, he kind of replayed it up toward the booth as though it were something McEnroe would do. Not typically Courier back early in the first set. So he's remained more relaxed, I would say, than Andre Agassi has out here in the tension of the battle. He's been pretty uptight, though. I mean, he's been cursing out there as well tonight. They've both been edgy, these two. I think this might be what costs Agassi the match. And he's trying to attack here. This is, for Agassi to raise the level of his game enough to hurt Courier, he's got to take chances. He's got to take risks. Do things he might not normally do. He's made some fine volleys tonight, as I said, but I mean, the measure of the match is that Agassi knows how solid Courier is, and he's really got to, he's really got to try to raise a level level above. As you said, he's had some success doing it, but clearly not enough at this point. It's not the game he prefers to play. Exactly. 
Here he comes again. Here's how it looks right now. Sampras awaiting the winner of this match. And down below, two quarterfinal matches remain. Ferreira, Wayne Ferreira from South Africa against American Michael Chang. Yvonne Lendl and Stefan Edberg tomorrow night. Two former champions, the defending champion Edberg against three-time champ Lendl. <laughs> If there's one major department of, of Courier's game that needs work after this match, it's his return game. He has squandered so many break point opportunities. And I really think it's because he, he's playing this match as over on French Open clay. He's so far back beyond the baseline that he hasn't been able to attack Agassi serve when he's had a lot of break point chances. He's just not really playing the territory right for a hard court. That one was better. He stepped in. And interestingly, two years ago, when Andre Agassi lost to Courier, he had been up a set and a break. And a rain delay helped Courier because his coaches said, look, step in, get in closer. Move in 10 feet on Agassi's serve and start attacking it. Courier, of course, ended up winning his French Open that way. 57 unforced errors for Agassi, and that last one was very loose. Thirty all. Deep dry from Agassi. Nick Voluntary said something earlier today. Of course, he has coached both these men, but in the last few years, Kerr has gone off from Voluntary. Nick said something that's very, very true. He said, Jim Courier will never play a bad match against Andre Agassi. Too much history between the two. Wendy Stewart on the right, Andre's girlfriend. He's right, too. This has a real prize fight feel, this match. This is more than just a tennis match. That's why the place is packed. Okay, nice. Well played by Agassi. Well played point. Four games to three, Agassi in the fourth. The top seed in this tournament this is really, a, it's more than a tennis match, as we were saying. It's, it's a big occasion, a happening out there. There are a lot of fans filling this place, as they used to for Jimmy Connors matches or John McEnroe. This is maybe the first match without those two big names that has this sort of feel. Again, trying to chase down the Agassi ball. Andre can lob so well off of both sides, and that's not true of most players. Brad Stein in the white cap is Courier's coach on the road, but Jose Higueras, the man right next to him, is a, a brilliant man. As, as Jim Courier said, I want to take his brain and stick it in my head. They co coach him. And they both spent a lot of time priming Jim Courier for this match all day long. They were coming at him saying, Agassi's hot and he wants you. He's going to give you all you want. Love 30 at 3-4. Then we could be looking at five sets again. This has been a tournament of five setters on the men's side. And they have all been dynamite. Three break points for Agassi. 
two sets to one the top seed leading the Wimbledon champion. Agassi's done a lot better on break points than his opponent has. Courier, as I said, he's been conservative. He's too far back to really take a shot at the ball. Agassi's attitude is more like, hey, I'm down anyway. I might as well go for it. One save. 15, 40. Pretty good shots to come up with. You're not kidding. Still a break point. Truly the most underrated department of Carrier's game is his serve. Have a look how ineffective he's been on return. It's a good thing he's serving so well. Back to Deuce. Deuce. Miss that, that forehand wide. Becker and Lendl provided pretty of dramatic, plenty of dramatics last night. It's being duplicated and then some tonight by these two heavyweights. Combined poundage, probably not as much as Lendl and Becker, but hitting the ball every bit as hard. Advantage Courier trying to even it for all. Fourth set, he's up two sets to one. Today, Arancha Sanchez Vicario, impressive, defeating a disappointing what, what, Steffi Graf. And while Amaleva Franier advanced over her sister Magdalena, it'll be Celis and Mary Jo Fernandez in one semifinal. Amaleva Franier against Sanchez Vicario in the other. 
Friday live on CBS. Coach Boletari told Agassi that he must serve well in this match and he, he's got to play well from the net. And I think perhaps he's trying to pressure too much on serve. The serving percentage should be a little bit higher. And again, the net, the net play, although he's much improved in that department,